Hello, 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 everybody. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Miss Global Motivation. I am back with another breakfast video. Today we are trying something totally brand new. These are some dumplings. Uh, I've not had them before. I don't know how they is, but we're going to try them. We're going to be doing the first of the day. I have my water right here beside me. And as you guys see here, yeah, I have the camera set up a different way today. I have some, uh, what are these things called? They some french fries, steak fries. Okay, so let's say grace. Father God, in the name of Jesus, Lord, I want to thank you for blessing me to be able to see another day. I thank you, God, for this food that you prepared before me. I thank you, Lord, for the hangers that made. I ask that you bless it. Let this food be a nourishment for the mind, body, soul, and spirit. And God, I just bless your name today. In Jesus' name, amen. Yeah. So, as y'all see, I got my hair headband thing on because I'm doing a deep condition of my hair. And then I'm going to, you know, plait it back up and probably start wearing a wig for a couple of days. So, yeah, that's the process we are now. I'm, when I deep condition, I like to let my hair rest. I have some sweet and sour sauce in here. Uh, how's everybody doing today? Mm. Sweet and sour sounds good. I've never had that. Trying something to do. You know, these are the dumplings. Now, my grandbaby like these. You know, my granddaughter. I never had them. So here we go. Let's see. I be seeing people eat these. They say it's all right. I think I would probably like them best if they in like a soup, like a dumpling that's whipped. But they taste all right. Water is good for the soul. Whew, my glass is so big. But they taste all right. So, yeah, we got snow last night, yesterday. It is white outside. I don't mind the snow because, you know, I just pray that people drive careful, be safe out there driving in it, but I don't mind it. Y'all know I'm a, a homebody. So, as y'all heard at the beginning of the, the video when I started, I was looking at Judge Judy by default. I don't really like looking at her that much. Because I got God stand on her. This is good. It ain't the best. But it's good. Mm. Mm. But do y'all know what I really love? I love the... The burrito things that you can buy with the beans and the meat, the frozen kind, I love those things. They are good to me. I even love the one that's just got the uh, the beans and the chili in it. Mmm. I was going to make me some pancakes, but I said, no, let me just do this because I got to come back and do a motivational video. Mm. That's good. But it makes you keep on drink water. Mm. So... What's going on with you guys? 
What is going on? Happy Wednesday to everybody. Let me get my verse of the day, devotion of the day pull up. We definitely going to be doing that. My stomach feels a whole lot better, guys. Like, it almost feels back to normal. My BM have got normal, regular again. So, yeah, I'm feeling real good. The edges of that stuff is real hard. From. Mm -mm -mm. So let me see. What I feel. Yeah, verse of the day. The verse of the day. I was going to give you guys a word from the Lord. So, and it be for me and you. It'll be for both of us. There ain't no better, no different from you guys. Mm. These um dumplings, y'all can see that they taste good, but it's some it's a taste. It's like something coming, some taste, flavor is coming out from that give, mm, I don't know, that's giving the oriental taste to me. Mm. Mm. I had a good night's sleep last night. Yes, I did. I slept pretty good. And I slept with the window up, so when I woke up this morning, I was freezing. <laughs> That's how them hot flashes do. Ooh. I'm flabbing. I got this real cute necklace that I have out. About three years ago. And the, the clamp had came off of it, which causes the chain to fall on one side. And I never did fix it. And I was going through my jewelry boxes and I seen it still in the box, still in the same package that I ordered in. And I love it because it's my name and it's really pretty. Oh, it's thick. I got it. So I'm going to try to find some clamps sometime this week and fix it. Mm. One thing about over here where we live, you're always going to see the share. The police. I stay downtown Milwaukee. And I live by Marquette University, so there are always over here. And I live right across the street from the hospital. So you always want to see the police, him, and the ambulance. Always. Mm. I'm in the yeah. Okay, let's read. We're going to still eat now. I don't want y'all kind of gunning for me. I got the questions together for the Q&A. So we will be having the Q&A. Mm. I'm thinking about Friday evening. I'm thinking about doing it then. I'm going to go live. So, yeah. Okay. And live is something I never do, but I'm going to go live for this. I want to do the giveaway live. You don't have to be uh, in the live to get your accept your your uh, giveaway, your cash out, or your PayPal. Just have your notification on. So when I hashtag at your name, you will know it. So now. 
the verse of the day is coming from Revelation chapter 3, verse 20, and it reads as thus. This is the Lord talking to us. Listen to this verse. Meditate on this scripture right here and get the wisdom of it. Open up your heart and let them in. Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If any man hear my voice and open the door, I will come in. I will come in to him and I will sup with him and he with me. The Lord is saying he's standing at the door of your heart and not. Anyone that will open up his heart and let him in, he will come in and he will sup with you. He will be with you. He will eat with you. He's knocking. Will you let him in? This is Jesus knocking. Will you let him in? Open your heart and let him in. Now, it says Jesus desires to be in communication with us, not just individually, but collectively in his church. Yet sometimes we get so caught up in our own plans, agendas, and desires that we shut him out sometimes. Yes, we do, because we are human, and we do shut him out sometimes. I agree with that. When this happens, do we realize that he's outside? Do you realize that he's outside, just standing there waiting to get back in his house? Do we hear him knocking? Let him back in so that he may be present with us in all that we do. Once we let Jesus in, he's with us in everything we do. No matter what we're going through, he's there. He's letting you know, I got you. I'm holding you. I'm holding your hand. Let him in. The devotion of the day is coming from Luke chapter 19, verse 10, and it reads as thus. So he sought the louse. He sought the louse. It's the title of the devotion for the day. Jesus is looking for us that are louse. He's looking for us. It says, for the Son of Man is come to seek and to save that which was louse. He did not come to save for nobody that's already saved, that's saying you saved, that's so holy, so sanctified. He said he came to seek those that were that are lost. He wanted to save the lost ones. Okay? Listen. It says Jesus Christ did not come to condemn anyone. His mission to earth was not one of doom or destruction. Jesus Christ came for the lost, which was every single human being at that time. Everyone, I had to read that. Every one of us are lost. Every one of us, okay. When he came, when Jesus came, there was nobody that was saved in this world because of the sin of Adam and Eve. The whole world was under the bondage of sin. So, he said his mission to earth was, was not one of doom or destruction. Jesus Christ came for the lost, which was every single human being at the time. Pharisees, rabbi, fishermen, laymen, they were all lost. Everyone was lost because they were without redemption. We had not received redemption yet. Hmm. I still don't know what's inside this thing. It said, they did not have a way to redeem themselves of the sinful life that they were born into. But Jesus Christ did not come to the earth to point this out to man in order to make everyone feel bad about themselves. 
But Jesus came on a mission to save every lost soul. He didn't come to make us feel bad. He came to save every one of us. Jesus did not come and give his life. He did not come to call out all our sins, to point out things that we've done. He came to save us. He came to redeem us. So, the love of God, the same love that resided in the heart of Jesus Christ, compelled him to come for every soul so that they would have a chance to receive salvation and to be set free from the bondage of the enemy. Today, we know that there are a lot of sermons in the world that tend to focus on the doom and the destruction of the world. Some people even try to use fear tactic to make you, um, to make to compel you to become saved. You don't gotta use no fear tactics for nobody to be saved. God said, "You do the plan, He'll do the increase." All you gotta do is tell them about the word, spread the word. Then, but this is not what Jesus Christ came to do. Jesus came to share the good news with everybody. With every one of us, every one of us, that the Messiah had finally came to earth. Read about that in Luke chapter 19. That concludes the devotion of the day coming from Luke chapter 19. The title is, He Sought the Lost. Jesus came to seek out those that were lost. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Yesterday, I was being watching the outsiders. Mm. I love them ladies. And then I caught up on my subscribers videos too. Mm. So it felt real good to get caught back up. On my videos. I enjoyed y'all videos. I watched all y'all. Most of y'all that did vlogging, vlogs. Y'all uh, Christmas, Christmas Eve videos. Y'all uh, New Year's video. Some of y'all did real good with the countdown to New Year. Mm, I love it. I really love it. Vlogging style video. I just don't vlog a lot. But. I love it. Y'all see this? Mm. Mm hmm so I order groceries today. When I get my groceries, it's just a small grocery haul, real small. Because me and my granddaughter are going to go grocery shopping on the 14th, God's will. So she'll have time. I'm always got time. So, yeah. But I got some hours when I did. Just a little stuff to hold us over. Pretty much easy stuff to make. You know, like he didn't go. It's not a big high, but it's a little something. But we're going to go go shopping next week. God's will. And then we'll have, I'll have a very big grocery house too. And I'll probably do it live. When I have big things like longer videos, I'm going to start doing lives. Not all the time, though. Oh, this was good. Those are the things that's good. I don't like the little comments. But that was good. My gun is tender. Because I ain't got no teeth over here. 
are over here. And I'm trying to get me a partial made. My sweet and sour sauce is good. Okay. <sighs> Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this little breakfast slash motivational video. I wanted to try those new dumplings. I didn't get the name of them, but they some dumplings. They are chicken and vegetable something, but they so small, they mini. But they, they decent. I would definitely buy them again. But it ain't my favorite food, but I would definitely do them again if I had to. Ooh. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share, thumbs up this video. Leave me a comment down below. Stay tuned for the announcement of the Q&A, which God's will, if God say the same, and it's his will, it will be Friday. My plan, hopefully my plan is God's plan, that I can get the Q&A up Friday and we can have the giveaway. And I, the giveaway will be done by uh, Cash App or PayPal. So, stay tuned. I love you all. Thank you for supporting me. Thank you for watching my videos. And remember, we're all under one God, one nation, one love. Peace until the next video. Stay safe, stay blessed, stay prayed up. And remember that God loves you so much that he gave his one and only son. And I do too. Bye. Oh, let me show y'all the outfit of the day right quick. Just some leggings and a shirt. That's it. Bye-bye.